All right, you just evict poor people for money. Let's discuss. All right, y'all, welcome to the show. Today we're talking to my guy, Preston Pickle. Preston Pickle 345. He's saying you just evict poor people for money. That's not true, brother. Sometimes I press my pickle into your mother, all right? Outside of evicting poor people, I give her a good old wiener in. I don't even, uh, I don't even really know. What are we, what are we talking about, bro? We, are you just like freaking one of those communist pussies or something? Like, what, what's going on? Don't get me wrong. I do like pussies, but only between your mother's legs. I don't like when they're fucking walking around typing dumb shit on the internet like this. Uh, I'm assuming... You're like one of those like socialist cats that thinks uh, landlords are evil, evicting people is evil, uh, evicting people is wrong or something. Like, I'm, I, what what route are we are we taking here? What path are we going down? Are you trying to say uh, that being a landlord is not a real job? Being a property manager is not a real job? Because I happen to think being a property manager uh, is a very valid career path, okay? And I don't think that there is anything wrong with a property manager evicting folks, okay? Here's the deal, man. This isn't uh, some like socialist wet dream, okay? In reality, there is a finite amount of resources. And if I'm a property manager and we have one person, i.e. a tenant, uh, and then we have another person, i.e. an investor, a landlord, one of my clients, if this person decides they want to steal this person over here's money, yes, in that case, it is in fact my job to evict that tenant, okay? This isn't unicorns and rainbows, bro. There isn't free houses for everybody. In the real world, you have to go to work to get money to pay your rent. And if you don't pay your rent, the only way you're living somewhere for free is if you're stealing to another hum- stealing from another human being. And yes, it is a property manager's job to prevent that theft. If you steal from one of a Holton Wise client, uh, the property manager, i.e. Holton Wise, it is our job to evict you. That's that's there's yes so yes you just evict poor people for money i i guess i guess i do yes i do get paid to do my job but i happen to uh, be very proud of my job and think there's nothing wrong with doing my job i don't buy into this like victim mentality hell if you guys are out there really thinking um that the people who are stealing are the victims i got another thing coming tyler drop these folks like, let's just play out this video with just drop them like two or three minutes of just some of the tenants from hell content. So you guys can go ahead and just wrap your mind uh, around what's actually happening. Because I know like the, the liberal media and the left wing media, they love guys like fucking press and pickle, right? They got y'all brainwashed thinking the landlords are evil bad guys. They're like robber barons or something. Like they're like Carnegie or Rockefeller. <laughs> it's not the case, folks. The people who I protect, the people that I work for, the people that are uh, just trying to, to make their lives better, okay, they're normal, regular, hardworking people like me, like you, not press and pickle. He's a communist pussy. Uh, but when I go ahead and evict those people, I'm protecting hard-working people from theft. So, Kyler, just show just show these folks the kind of shit uh, that Press and Pickle's defending here, and you guys let me know. Who do you want to defend? You want to defend that deplorable beha- behavior and vilify these landlords? Actually look at what some of these people have done to them before you make your comments. <coughs> the ice where they did out. It used to be, you know, this would be the entrance to the other part of the house, and you just sealed it up. It looks less than that one property. What is that property? Look at all that roast shit on the ceiling. If you got roast shit on the ceiling, you know you're doing it right. Yeah, for sure. Let's go check out that kitchen man. Go ahead.
Windows. Alright, well, so far we're well under. Uh, well. Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. So we're at three. I'm smelling. A little bit of dirt. Uh, yo, it's mostly poop. It's cool. It's <laughs> Toilet. Yeah. <coughs> I almost threw up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours. So the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. The rest Vince. I get to redo the lock because I didn't know that basement door was open slash. I didn't know the door at the top of the steps. Uncover all the windows. You got gloves on, right? Yeah. Okay, good, because that's the only reason I didn't do it. It looked like there was a lot of rope shit on them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.